it's me again, says. So um, today I'm here to talk about how I have improved my pronunciation, English pronunciation to be exact. So as you know, as a non-native speaker, it's easy to tell when you have an accent. So it's either a native American accent, a British accent, or um, like an accent saying that you're from a different country or <laughs> you're a non-native speaker. Like it's easy to it's easy to determine sometimes just by the accent of English um, where you're from. So in my country most people speak basic English and you definitely um, know or you can tell that the, these people are from my country because of the accent. <laughs> so it's there's nothing wrong speaking in English um, with a different accent because that means that that person speaks more than one language so that's already amazing right and admirable I'd say so um, but some people they strive to um, speak English because I uh, speak English with a perfect um, American accent or British accent maybe because they need it um, in their jobs because right now in my country there are a lot of jobs where they're looking for um, English speakers with very neutral accent or sometimes very specific native American um, accent or European or British accent uh, so some people really strive to learn how to say things in these um, accents <laughs> alright so I most people say my accent is neutral so I don't sound like I'm from my country because of my my accent it's neutral um, they say like neutral North American accent I think um, the biggest um, influence of my accent was my first job so I have worked for a um, call center so I was a technical support representative and my clients were Americans so I talked to like 60 Americans in a day for a couple of years so I got exposed to their accent and I just adapt and I started sounding like them I think <laughs> yeah so um, that's one way of course to expose yourself to English or to the language that you want to learn as much as you can and one way to do that is of course to listen to um, the language so in my case English I listen to English all the time as I told you 60 or more American um, clients every day five days a week so that's like 300 people a week wow, that's a lot so for like over the years that's more than thousand um, thousands actually <laughs> right, and there was a time that I worked as a customer service representative um, for Australian clients and some Australians especially elderly they don't or it's challenging for them to understand American accent so I used American accent talking to Australian people and it's okay it's okay with them but some elderly Australian people they're, they're having um, difficulties understanding my American accent so I had to change my accent to Australian or British accent because it's more understandable for them and it works every time so I don't know <laughs> and the only uh, way that I was able to learn the Australian accent was because I got exposed to Australian clients every day again 60 to 70 Australian clients every day for a couple of years so I was able to adapt and somehow imitate their accent so th it's kind of the same with the kind of um, language that you're trying to learn so you just have to listen to it um, as much as you can so all the time imagine uh, listening to a song so we listen to different kinds of songs so even though um, the song is in a different language somehow we manage to sing them even though we 
don't understand the lyrics because it's in a different language and it's the same with um, English so you just listen 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 to it and then if you feel confident enough that um, you can speak or imitate the way that person is talking then you can record yourself simply record yourself so listen maybe to a, a sentence a paragraph or maybe a, anything just listen to the language that you want to um, practice and then after that record yourself saying the same thing so I'd say hi I'm Sis how are you doing today just try to record yourself like hey I'm Sis how are you doing today and then after you record listen to your recording and then you can tell if you sound like that of the uh, person you're um, listening to so if you sound the same that's good so you just compare your recording to that person you listen to if not then you can re-record and as long um, you can re-record as much as you want and until you're satisfied with the way you sound then just do the same process every time so you you will be um, more accustomed to talking that way you know what I mean and if you think you will have like some biased opinion because you're listening to yourself you can have someone listen to your recording and then they t they they would tell you if you sound um, the same as the person you listen to so if you sound with the accent that you want to have or if you don't really sound so good then they can help you so you can do that with just learn so you can talk to different people in different languages you can have them listen to your recording or listen to you talk and then they would tell you if your pronunciation is great uh, if it can be improved and how you can improve it like pronunciation definitely um, it's more of imitating the accent that you want to you want to have like reading something is one thing but reading something with an accent is another <laughs> you know um, as I've said earlier in the video you can tell someone is from a certain country based mostly based on their English accent right that's why some people they strive to have a neutral accent or try to imitate or copy an American accent or British accent just so they can use it um, to their own advantage and yeah I think if you'd notice most people most kids who migrate to different countries example to the to uh, the US they're young when they got there they don't really understand much um, English but as they grew older they sound really good like they have lived there all their life you know <laughs> it's like it's like they're native speakers. I think it's because all of the people who surround them speak English, speak with the native American accent. So it was easier for them to adapt this kind of accent. And uh, they had, they almost had no choice but to learn it because they had to use it to communicate. You know, so exposing yourself to the accent that you want to have, listening to it, copying it, the recording yourself, comparing yourself, or having someone check if you have um, recorded, or if you're recording, or if the way you're talking is the same as the accent that you want to achieve, that would be better, so that we can avoid some biased opinion. <laughs> Because sometimes when you record yourself, hey, I, I, actually it sounds good. Yeah, because it's yourself. So you know you've worked hard <laughs> on that recording. So you would uh, have a biased opinion and you will tolerate some of the words that maybe you may have mispronounced or something. But if someone else um, hears it or listens to it and that person would have unbiased opinion, then you can learn more. Right? because they can correct you and they can help you improve so just like other 
um, online ESL platforms like um, Just Learn, so you can have someone um, help you with your pronunciation as well. Uh, again, that's it from Ansas. You have a great day. Bye.